Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video here with me, Anush Mit. I gotta give you a small life update. Um, so the situation in my apartment, it's summer in Berlin, and, you know, I'm in a place that gets really hot, especially when the lights are on, the PC is on, I don't know, this place just doesn't cool down. And yes, I could have invested into AC, whatever, to make my home office situation a little bit more comfortable, but I'm actually moving. I'm moving in August, so I'm going to be out of this place. I'm moving into a very cool, nice, uh, you know, like, uh, how do you say in English? It's it's gr not ground level, one above. It's not a lot of sun hitting. Like, it's just super cool in that place, which is amazing. So I have a much easier time recording content <laughs> during the summer, uh, which was a little bit of an issue in this place. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm also moving in together with a, a very lovely woman. Uh, well, yeah, uh, also magic playing girl, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, it's going to be pretty exciting. First time moving in together with someone I'm dating, and uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe there's sometime in the future, hopefully there's even a Miss Huschenbeard. Who knows? Play some magic. Nah, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, yeah, anyhow, super happy for that, and if that happens, I'm likely going to go back to streaming as well. I'm going to put more more videos and you know just really pump out stuff and i'm really excited for that gonna get a nice desk make it myself really nice there have my own room committed to an office so that's going to be very exciting i don't know you know like right now i live in a, in a in one room so i'm living in a shared apartment everything is one room my bed is there my couch is behind the green screen you know it's it's very everything's in one place which you know it's life when you're young but Kind of looking forward to expanding a little bit as well. Uh, yeah, I did click recording. I was just checking. That would have been awkward. Um, yeah, that's pretty much that. I guess disclaimer. Also that in the next weeks, uh, in the next two weeks until the move, I won't be doing much content because I'm actually going in uh, in a couple days already to Barcelona um, where I'm going to be spending my time with Team Channel Fireball in the testing house. You know, all the all the legends in the game um we're gonna s spend some time together N not me not me I i'm not included in that i mean like redu gabriel Massif, lsv we're gonna test 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 draft lord of the rings play modern and you know prepare for the modern pro to the last pro to of the season my last chance to qualify for the world championship and also to re-qualify for like the next pro tour and all that so um yeah less content in the next two weeks but you know when i've when I'm done with the move, when I settled in, I think there's going to be a lot more content. I'm going to go back to streaming. I'm planning to. And uh, yeah, everything is going to be, you know, rocking and rolling, as they say. But nonetheless, here in front of us, we have uh, a little Explorer video, a gameplay action with some new Explorer cards that just joined the format via the latest anthology drop. Uh, yeah, we're looking at Xenagos and Wordspine 1, which both just randomly were in there. Hmm, what can you do with these cards? Well, you can put them both into play with creativity and then... Oh, what does it say? At the beginning of comedy, you turn another target you could turn against haste and against X plus X on X and of turn with X, that's creature power. What does this say? When it... 15 15 trample so this would be a 30 30 hasty trampler huh seems kind of good doesn't it yeah and it actually is so i'm pretty excited about finally getting to play this combo we had locust god and sage of the falls in the past which you know not too bad but what was a little troublesome about that combo was that it just kind of died to some cards that were commonly played in a format um, like, Rending Volley and stuff like that, kill the Locust God. With Wordspine Worm, I mean, you can kill it, right? Like, Rakdos can play, <laughs> go for the throat or what have you, but then you get free 5-5s, five so that's pretty tough to deal with as well, especially if a Xenagos makes these 5-5s five into, you know, one of them, into a 10-10. So, this combo, pretty strong against removal, you just, of course, if you target like Zokansan Tomes or Mirax Tomes or Goblin Shamans, in that case, not so great because they can respond with Fatal Push. But to prevent that, we're playing Big Score and Unexpected Windfall. Unexpected Windfall just being a bad Big Score. 
uh, to make treasures, which are really difficult to attack with. And then we blow them up with creativity turn five. This really is not a creativity for one deck. You always want to do it for two, but you can do it for one in some interesting spots. For example, if you mulligan to six, you see a Xenagos in your opening hand, you put it to the bottom, of course, then you know that you have a World Spine Worm on top of that Xenagos, so you could technically Indomitable Creativity for one if the World Spine Worm on turn four is good enough, which, you know, I mean, World Spine Worm, just being a 15-15 trample is already like, that's good enough against Reactors to get the job done, for example. Uh, at least pre-board. Post-board, I guess they could have Extinction Event, even though that card is pretty terrible. But yeah, it is just interesting that if you've Volcanic Spidered one of the creatures to the bottom, then you can maybe... Uh, Xenagos, usually. You don't want a Creativity for one if you know that you're going to get a Xenagos, because that's pretty embarrassing. But if, you, if you've put a Xenagos to the bottom of Volcanic Spide or via Mulligan, you can get World Spine Warm for X equals 1. And yeah, the rest of the deck, I mean, you, you're known to this. I've played with Creativity a bunch. Impulse gets us the combo pieces together. And then we have Secrets of the Key, which can be an early card draw spell and also be effective at giving us two clues for mana and then exactly having the two clues for Creativity to blow up. Yeah, pretty simple deck. This is a list originated from John Mano de Pra, who's a believer that this is, you know, as far at least at that point in june i believe yeah i mean that's not too long ago <laughs> three weeks ago the article he wrote he was a believer in this strategy over um you know the gearhawk version because it yeah i mean it, it, like one nice thing about this it doesn't play divide by zero which you could say is a nice or a bad thing but divide by zero does clum up your board your sideboard a little bit this also does play a lot less um, combo y cards. Like you don't have to play four magma opus. You don't have to play four torrential gear hulk. So you, you your entire deck can be built with more interaction, more card draw, and all that. You don't have to commit as many slots to like big stuff. Um, although we can make a point about gear hulk being nice again. Da, 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 da. In any case, I want to try this combo today. One more thing, Mirax was apparently a, found, uh, a find from Depra and his French team. They really like this as an alternative way to win, right? If you're playing against someone who just keeps up mana all the time, you should start making Mirax tokens and kill them with that. But also as a repeatable source of uh, creativity targets, of course. There's a little bit more, uh, yeah, it has more utility than like the, the mutable that Saw play before. Sideboard, we're looking at Ifegas, the same stroke, a bunch of counter magic, nice counters for each and every situation Holebreaker horror to bring in that has been the plan since the pro tour was won by reed duke with this stack um uh, so yeah you bring in Holebreaker horror you just turn into this control deck against people that have like good interaction against the saucy speed creativity of course you're playing running volley card is great brotherhood's end as a nice flexible sweeper very good against you know all the aggressive decks good against this new pr deck good against convoke whatever it may be we still haven't gotten Reckless Bushwicker in the latest Explorer Anthology, which is pretty disappointing. Uh, we still haven't gotten Dig Through Time either. This Dig Through Time would be a card that you would play in this deck. So, uh, yeah, I guess there's that. A little complainy. Um, honestly, like, the whole drop of Explorer Anthology for this one is, just, like, completely empty. We got Vespian Stage and Sylvan's Crying and Worldspan Worm and Xenagos. But besides that, we, again, are missing important things. So it's it's kind of sad. Uh, yeah, Shark Typhoon has the last piece of the puzzle, works both as a, you know, alternative way to win, great in the counter war matchups, and of course, really nice also to just opt as a creativity target if you need one. Alright, that is the deck, I'm excited to play this, sweat my ass off in this hot studio here of mine, and uh, yeah, <laughs> alright, let's play some games. Alright, I would love to play first, yeah, sure, I'm in. We don't have impulse on turn one, unfortunately. But it's gonna be okay. Mulligan to five from the opponent's side. That is unfortunate for them. I would love to play the coast. Really have not played much arena lately. Still sitting at platinum in the midst of July. Okay, looks like we're playing against the Convoke deck. Um, without Bushwhacker, so that's good for us. Less 
problem cards. And then multi five, so that's also good for us. And okay, maybe uh, resolute reinforcements here. Yeah. All right. The next turn they could convoke. I'll take the land over anything. Sure, there was a creativity, but I need lands. So I could kill two of these guys, play tap steam vents. That would really stifle my opponent's ability to convoke, honestly. Kind of like that. Oh, I kind of like that. You know, like... Yeah, I could have played a Fable, but then they convoke, and then I'm just like, eh. This, this, this way I slow them down really significantly, and if they don't have, like, more cheap creatures, and maybe another Convoker in hand, like, two Convokers in hand, they really might get stuck on them. So, you know, this, this sort of... Yeah, looks good for me. I like my decision of killing both the guys. Now they're probably gonna have a Convoker. Oh, okay. If they have... Well, I assume they don't have a Convoker at this point. Yeah. Cool. No, just a little token army. And in which case, you know, it's just a race for me to get to warm. Oh. That was actually pretty great. Holy cow. Well, uh, ta the, the, the clock is ticking, let's say. The clock is ticking. Um, alright, I'll get rid of these two. Oh, well, there it is. Um... Cool. Well, so I'm at 18. Uh, I'll just chill and big score to make this appear away. This is 6, 11, 15 power. I'm going to sack a clue. Mm, pretty good. 15 power on turn 4. Okay. But, you know, 30 is all I need, so. 30 trample. My opponent could theoretically play around it if they like giga brain and know what I'm on and know like they could have enough toughness, right? But they're not going to, of course. Which is the smart play. Um so ticks a blah blah. So I don't wanna block, right? Because six nine fifteen. I don't wanna block because if I don't hit a land, I need to go up and to have another target for oh actually I have to fable. It doesn't matter. The, the only way I lose now is if I draw any of the targets. One more draw step. Don't draw it. Okay. <laughs> that is that is sometimes how, how things can get dicey with this deck. It's also the reason why you play um, the full amount of Volcanic Spite. Which, you know, Volcanic Spite ain't the best card ever. Especially Fiery Impulse is just a better version. So in the in the Gearhulk deck, I, I like to not Play volcanics, but I could have attacked the goblin as well, but it doesn't matter. Um, in the in the Gearg version, I don't like to play the full pl full play set of volcanic spite, but in this one you kind of have to, um, because you need to put Xenagos to the bottom or or I mean either of them, <laughs> either of them really. Now, actually, a little point on that: you can discard the world spend one, which is really neat. You can discard it into Big Score, into Fable, whatever it may be, and then it shuffles itself back into the deck so that one sure you can also use volcanic spite but that one you can discard so that's really nice Xenagos you cannot okay Browds and disdain for stroke will definitely come in negate goes out spell pierce and spell pierce is cheap enough to somewhat interact with the gleeful I guess gleeful sabotage is the best card in the deck um they get they go one drop and then gleeful or, or they go only for the gleeful in which case I couldn't even spell pierce on the draw because I don't have the blue up yet. But if they go one drop and then try to gleeful, I could spell pierce. So maybe it's not crazy. Uh not sure. Yeah. Probably wanna cut the secrets. Cut a windfall. Um I kinda like I kinda hate volcanic spite in this matchup, not gonna lie. But I am a little skeptical on how Aggressively, you can mulligan this card because... Oh, sorry, bought it out because you kind of need it to put Xenagos back if you draw it. So you can't really, like, trim them all, I feel like. And I'm not going to put in Holebreaker Horror in this matchup. That That is for sure. So I want some running bodies. That, that, that's what I want to want to have in my deck. I could also trim may, the imports, maybe. I mean, I have a lot of one-mana removal... 
I, I really like make disappear because it's kind of good against the big stuff. Like they usually have to tap everything. And you can make disappear like a Loxodon or a Knight Errant. Maybe the spell pierce is too cute. Um just play another windfall. I mean windfall is pretty decent at helping you combo. Having more of those. Like it, it, you just if you if I go into action, into action, into action, and then turn four windfall, turn five creativity, that's perfect. I, I technically like Fable is not Fable is maybe a card you, I could board out here. Yeah, I mean, this hand is playable, but I have a Xenagos in my opener, and I only have free Volcanic Spite. So what you can actually also do, you could you could play Xenagos first, and then at some point get the Worm and kill them. But that is obviously a hefty mana investment. Uh, but I do have big score as well. I'll try it. I'm not sure. Like my my start is really nice, so that's what I like about this hand. Hmm. I think I have to go coast. Coast has been kind of awkward for me. Maybe, maybe four coasts too aggressive. Maybe I should put some Shivan Reef in here. It's just unfortunate. You, like you would want another nice land, but you you just kind of don't have. The nuts, they have the Loxodon. This is what the deck does. Oh, the Night Iron. Dirty. I mean, if I had an untapped land, I, in response to the Gleeful, can kill the Epicure. And then I need an Ornithopter to accomplish this. Um, so I kind of give Stormcuff Coast, you know, the, the fault here. Yeah. Seven damage coming across. Yeah, I'm probably dead here. I mean, this is the turn two. Untap lands on turn one. Pretty important. I mean, I'm playing a lot of... Interesting. I think now I'm just going to kill the 4-4 four, four then. Huh. Maybe I should have done this in the first place. When it when it started attacking, I could have just killed the 4-4. Four, four. Feels like... I don't know. This is weird. Like, why didn't you play your spirit? Like, just playing around... I clearly don't have resolute reinforcements playing around a sweeper. Six cards in hand as well. Like you just dump your hand with that deck. You don't you don't waste around. Maybe they just clicked through. Maybe they miss misclicked. Alright, so I could draw Broadout's end to sweep the board. Let's we'll see. Only from down, okay. Not a only from down, okay. Um, yeah, just pass, I guess. Not much to do. I really like Cinderclasm against this deck. I don't know what the Explorer metagame looks like on Arena, but if they... If this deck is a common common deck to... to then then Cinderclasm would be a reasonable sideboard card. Cinderclasm is also fantastic against... Um, now I could have actually killed the Epicure. That was a mistake. I should have at least thought about it. It's really obvious that they have this. Which isn't a mistake, by the, by the way, of them playing it this way. Because they telegraphing to me that they have this card in their hand, or Loxodon. In which case, I can just shoot down one of their creatures. You know? And then they can't cast it anymore. I messed up. You know, I just clicked through explaining my thoughts and stuff. I messed up. But if I didn't, and I would have, you know, like, just killed the Epicure there. They maybe, yeah, you know. So, a mistake by the opponent, but also a mistake by me. I could have big scored and used the treasure and probably killed the Epicure. Yeah. Oh, they have the Leosaur instead of the Bushwhacker. Yeah, I mean, the card is fine, but it's obviously a downgrade. Um. So, what else? What now? What now? So, I can block, kill one. Hmm. Yeah, not. Well, I guess. Is there a chance? Because now I have at least Volcanic Spite, so I can put the Xenagos back. But... Issue is I have to jump the Night Errant. This game might have been interesting if I would not not have done my mistake. But I guess if my opponent did, doesn't do his their mistake, then they are not losing. Well, can I really use up a treasure of mine? Hmm. 
I think what I have to hope for is that I'll find Brotherhood's end essentially is my out. So I'm gonna Volcanic Spite the Knight Errant and then hope to find Brotherhood's end. Yeah. Impulse. Huh. Well. First things first, let's do this. Rending volley. Hmm. Um yeah, I mean could technically impulse looking for it. That's not crazy. Probably have to. Nope. Um yeah, I'm gonna discard both anyways, so let's do it. Oh wow, there it is. Okay, okay. I mean, <laughs> I'm down to a Kiki and a Spike Field Hazard. My Xenagos is on the bottom of my deck, so if I draw Creativity, I can just get a 15-15. They had 16, I have one damage in hand. Oh, <laughs> nice. Okay, you got it. Alright, eh, okay, okay. Um... So, yeah, maybe the impulse is just the weaker of the cards, because... I mean, I do have Spike Field, Rending Volley, and Impulse, it's a lot. Just kind of just want to find it. Like, I want to have this one, I think. At the ready to find me Brotherhood's End. Yeah, this looks fine. Alright, on the play is a lot easier, because... Like, now they can't, like, go crazy on you, because you have Make Disappear, and... Yeah, just it's a it's this is really a play draw dependent matchup I would say. This hand looks great. I'll go mountain first. Pass. Yeah, I kind of like Shiv and Reef honestly. Depra only played one, uh, and Depra played three Mirax, which I found a bit aggressive. Like three Mirax seems 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 a bit much. Let's kill this. All right, all right, all right, all right. Impulse, 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 impulse. And this is a card that is really nice in these creativity decks that Gear Hulk creativity can't afford to play. They just don't have space for it. So it's an upside to to warm creativity that you can that you get to play impulse. I cannot interrupt. Ah, shit! I could have killed the Ornithopter, I guess. Anna, Anna, Anna. That was loose. I'm playing loose. I mean, you could make a case that uh, you just want to impulse, but no, you you want to you want to kill the only one. <laughs> I think. I'm I'm just like in this good talkative mood or whatever. I'm just missing obvious lines. Think I'll take creativity over fable. No, Senegos. No, no, my friend. No, you not. You should not have been drawn. <laughs> Shit. I'm fucked. I'm, I'm screwed. And I don't have Lance. Ugh. Maybe I was not meant to take this indomitable creativity. Ooh. First, I mess up with my play on turn two, not killing the Ornithopter, and now, now this. So if I draw a red land, I'm going to be in good shape. But if I don't... Okay. They have resolute. They have some sort of instant. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So they wipe everything. They're going to have two one ones. Put me down to 10. If I take another hit for seven, put nine actually, they put me to three. Oh, they have castle. Never mind, I have to do this. Yeah, I have to hit a land and they can kill me with the castle. This is really frustrating that I didn't kill the Ornithopter. Like, it would have been a lot less pressure. It's my own fault. 
Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. They will have lethal this turn already, like next turn already again. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this Convoke deck is, is the shit if it draws this card. If it draws this card and has it in its opening hand, I, I, like every game, I would play this deck every tournament. Really, like, that's how good it is. But if it doesn't, um,. Like, the deck is a lot worse. This card is outrageously good in the deck. It just, it's it's one mana make three 1-1s, one which is just insane, right? Like, especially with all the Convokers. But if you don't have the combo with that and an artifact, your deck is kind of mopey and slow and not that good. So it really comes down to drawing this card. You know, they had it in game two and game three on turn two, and then they had the Convoker on turn two. Um, Yeah. So that is, of course, the nuts, and you cannot really beat that with any deck, and that is GG. I mean, you can beat it with any deck, but, like, that is very difficult to beat with any deck. And me messing up this game is obviously not going to help. No wonder I'm still on Platinum. Giganta, okay. Mm, yeah, it's a bit land-heavy, but oh, I'll do it. Giganta usually means sacrifice, I would think. Yeah. Sacrifice should be a good matchup. Although, these days, Sacrifice has been playing like 4-4 four, four in the main deck. Which helps. Which obviously helps. But, you know, 4 does not take the top of your deck. And you have a lot of draw spells, impulse, etc. So, even if they're 4 1 creativity. Huh. Worth a negate. They don't have the cat yet. I don't think it is worth a negate. Like... Fundamentally, the only thing that matters here is Fortsy. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, the Oven Cat stuff, you know, it's not fast enough. I'm going to kill them turn 5. You know, if things go planned. Oh, wow. That is, you know, I, I ain't complaining about that draw. Um, although, you have to be a little careful in this matchup with the Fable because they do have claimed the Firstborn. So, they can just, you know, attack, sack it. But I'm not, not playing the Fable there. Okay, they found two lands. Remnant Ruins. So it's probably the, the Jabberwocky take on the deck. Um, Jabberwocky is one that played Remnant Ruins. I don't know if many other did, maybe. Okay, no claim. That's nice. Okay, let, let's see. Uh, I guess I'll just discard two lands. Oh no. Oh no, Xenagos. Don't do me like that. Although what I can do here, theoretically, I could just play the Xenagos. I mean, it's not crazy. They block. Okay. I think I'm just going to do that. If they can't do nothing about it. If they don't kill my Kiki, I just have to kill next turn. You know, like this is... I wouldn't think this comes up too often. I'm kind of surprised it comes up in our second match with the deck, but you know, like, it does happen from time to time, you just get the Xenagos out there, and at that point you only need the creativity for one. And if they tap out here, they're just dead. 30 damage. I mean, yeah. There's always the option that you draw Worldspan Warm in a turn, where you really don't want to draw Worldspan Warm, but I did not in this one, so I'm good. Bada bing, bada boom. I would like to give that haste. I would like to attack with 13 trampling damage. Thank you very much. You want to block? <laughs> uh, that's 27 damage then. Okay, minus 8. Sounds good. Alright, this is again a matchup where whole breaker horror. No, don't want that. Brotherhood's end? Oh yeah, definitely want that. Um, so what matters is pretty much only Fonzies, right? Like, the rest, they probably have some duress postboard, but, you know, that's the same as Fonzies. Um, so what do we not want? I think Fiery Impulse is kind of whatever. I like what it, like, I mean, it does free, deal free damage, which is nice. Yeah, we can't, keeping the deck the same is, like, is good. I think you could play if I guess, not unreasonable. Could convince me on the negate. Um, yeah, 
That's like negate if I guess the reasonable cards. Not exactly sure if I want them. Spell pierce secrets. Maybe cut the secrets. Add a uh, negate. Add an ephagust. Spell pierce. It's kind of like negate. It's not that good against like later stage fort ceases because you know, it costs one mana. So it's like either they play spell fort ceases on turn one, in which case you can't spell pierce because I'm on a draw, or they play fort ceases on like turn four, which is this, which is a pretty smart move because you, then. Or like turn five even, but turn four so to take the big score, for example, or or the creativity, I guess. And in that case, I couldn't spell pierce the fancies anymore, so I would need negate. Yeah, could also just play another impulse in case I'm worried about my life total. This is quite good against deadly dispute, though. They have they have a lot of spells that you want to counter. Maybe I want the negate as well. Maybe the negate, maybe the negate is even better than like. Uh, What's it called? Ether Gust. Okay, sure. Sounds good. Interesting. I mean, I guess I want to keep up Impulse in case they play a Blood Tithe Harvester. Come on, don't disappoint me. Do it! Yes, yes. Oh, this is so nice. Love it. Get rewarded. And shock myself. Yeah, I mean, this is just... You get to use your one drop removal against their two drop. Oh, it's just... Mm. Your upper card. Yeah, you grip full of cards. And I can interact with that. I guess I could have Ether Gusset the the witness but that one is uh not great against uh deadly dispute so you really don't want to do that and if i guess it's kind of decent they have a lot of red cards even giganta in the very end i guess What do you get? A uh, cat, okay. One downside of this deck, I guess, is that you don't have Prismary Command, so you can't attack the oven, but, I mean, it doesn't really matter that much, because this matchup is not about the oven. They can have some cat activations, da da da. As long as you keep the devil off the board, you're not gonna die fast enough that oven is gonna matter very much. Don't care about all this dirty stuff. Just gonna make my own game plan work. Guess I'll take a Mirax. Spell Pierce. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm starting to think that Ephagust maybe is worse than Negate because sure it does hit um Devil, which negate doesn't, but it does not hit Fortsies, it does not hit Duress, Deadly Dispute, so there's, or that card even. There's a lot of cards it doesn't hit, which makes me not super excited about it. Um, I think I'm actually gonna discard it right here now. Let's see what we draw, maybe Spell Pierce. I could just discard two lands technically. I could discard Spell Pierce, Spire Bluff. And I kind of want my treasures. And playing Spell Pierce there is kind of like... I'm basically discarding Spell Pierce, so I'm just discarding Spire Bluff Canal instead of using a treasure, essentially, in this situation. Because the graveyard is, doesn't matter for me. So I, I think I'm... I'm happy with that. It's another big score. Um, I guess I should have discarded Voltspan Worm instead of Ethergas. What am, what am I even thinking? 
Wow. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> uh, oops. Yeah. Okay. Unfilm, unfilm, oh, I don't even, I cannot speak that word. Unfamiliarity, uh, I'm trying to say, with the archetype. Okay, if they're doing the cat thing now, I'm gonna discard words by now, shuffle back in. Yep, and if I find a spike fit hazard, I can kill the cat here and get it out of the, you know, have it be gone. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look for it. You know it's free to cast this impulse. Uh, never mind. I'll take that card that wins me the game. That's also fine. <laughs> okay, no falsies. Don't do it. Devil. Devil's okay. Devil and land. They can shoot a little bit around. But it's not enough damage. Alright, here I'm gonna play around uh, a braid by blowing up all three treasures. And then, yeah, it's 30 damage. Pwn can go up to 26. <laughs> and then have two blockers. Kind of funny. Like, almost survived this attack, but not really. Now, they go up to 26, and then they have four, four toughness, so it's exactly 26 trample. I mean, if they would just go to one and still lose their board state, it'd probably be a good situation for me anyways. So. Like, theoretically speaking, but it's just GG. It's exact -sies. Yeah, no, like, sure, Rakdos with the food and the cat could theoretically get into a life situation where they survive a hit. But even then, they would have to deal with the Worm later on, which you just don't out of a red-black deck. You just die to the Worm. Okay, we're on the draw. Perfectly fine hand. I would love to keep. Yorian. Yorian, Yorian, Yorian. Uh, Sun Pillar Grove Mountain. Uh, okay, maybe the enchantment deck. Well, yeah, probably. Probably that one. Enigmatic Fires. This is a good matchup, I think, for this deck. Vote spend warm has to go. Like, they're doing some saucy speech shenanigans. Um I mean if they have the if they have fires into an enigmatic here, that would be annoying, but besides like the, the fast draws. Okay. Yeah, enigmatic is good. Um you are just like this instant speed deck and you can kill them. I guess one card that is quite good is is the What's the name? The Leyline Binding. You gotta be careful about that one. That card is really, really nasty. Do I? What do I do here? It's interesting. So the Enigmatic will mean that they have plenty of stuff to get. I kinda just wanna find lands. Impulse into a land, keep make the zippy up. Play Fable is reasonable as well. Hmm. A little scared of something big, but I wouldn't even know what it would be. Playing Fable has the biggest upside. Hmm. I think I'll just do that. Like, I think playing Fable gives me the highest chance of winning the game next turn. Because I can, you know, find a land with the Fable, play the land, 
kill both my guys, kill my opponent. They have Leyline Binding, wow. Okay, but the thing here now, I guess, is that, yeah, they, they get something powerful. Which, what is it? A Titan of Industry. Yeah. Okay. Not great. Yeah, this didn't work out too well for me, did it? Hmm. Ouch. Well, this Kiki is going to start copying Titans, which destroy my treasures. So I have to kill the Kiki. Yeah, this is not looking pretty. Huh. So I guess I guess I get mega punished for tapping out for Fable. I should have just gotten play my impulse, get a land, play the land pass. It's I guess yeah. Uh, I guess I guess Anna. I guess I should have done that. Take my medicine. Another lay. Okay, yeah. Leyland Binding and Enigmatic are the two best cards in that deck. Um, yeah. Me missing land drops definitely didn't help. That tracks are alright, cool. Bit of reunion, portable hole, sure. Yeah, at this point I can scoop him up. Okay. Uh, I'm not too uh, pessimistic about my chances though. Like, this matchup gets a lot better post board. I think this is one of the matchups where you bring in the whole breaker and just go control mode. Um, cut some creativities, cut some windfalls. Do, 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 do. Maybe cut a volcanic spite as well. And they really only have the fable tokens that you want to kill with that. Yeah, seems fine. Could leave in. Uh, creativity. Sure. I think this is a better plan than uh, going for the combo because of Leyland Binding specifically. That card is a bit of a beating. Um, you can play around it a little bit by, you know, just like prolonging the game. If they keep it up every turn, it costs them mana. And you can maybe like big score, big score, and then you have enough mana to counter the Leyland Binding. Um, that's how you can win a game one against that card. Um, actually, I guess I'll keep it. But if, yeah. Yeah, but post board, I think it's just better to go for the hole breaker. Um, and the shark typhoon and just fable control. Like, you don't even technically need um, to do anything crazy and like powerful against them. As long as you count their key spells. You're gonna be fine. Whoa, you got something? What do you have? Doin's Vito? Oh shit, that's pretty good. That's a, that's a good swing. That was good. Now they have their own fable? Hanged Executioner. Okay. That is a, a card, I suppose. It's, yeah, it's not terrible, I guess. Never seen it before, but it's a magic card. You can exile my uh, my boy, my whole breaker boy. You got it. Can I get my ass beaten by this? Clunky four color enchantment deck, huh? And I'm constantly missing my fourth land drop, that doesn't help, I guess. And the Dovin's video was pretty, pretty rough. That was good. That's definitely a good card, and an another reason to, to bring in Holebreaker against them, because that card is very good against creativity. Ah, uh, sure. Are they gonna get a swamp here? It's the only one they're missing for trial. They tapped in an interesting way. Maybe, like, they tap manually. I don't know if they have, uh... Maybe Mystic Dispute. Wouldn't be unreasonable. No, so this thing... 
flips in two turns, which, you know, that's a little bit of a problem, but not too much now. Nylea's presence, you got it. Bit, bit threatened. I think I'm going to block that. Bit threatened by uh, Counterspell with this big score here. Maybe I actually was meant to big score in my own turn. I don't know. Could just Murex. To cast big score in the counter me, that is kind of brutal. But it didn't Yorian, you know, like that's actually super sus, isn't it? Yeah, they must have a counter spell. Hmm. Mist kill land. I think I'll just take land, honestly. Vito is Vito is kind of rough against Big Score. I mean, Big Score is nice when it resolves, but when it doesn't, it is a pretty bad card. Maybe they tap out for the path, and then we can we can resolve a Big Score. Oh, spicy. Makes me think they have Mystical Dispute, this display. Like, if I could go big score into Make Disappear, but then Mystical Dispute would get me, so. This is kind of nice for me, actually. Um, So this would, at some point, kill my kill my boy. So I guess... I really don't want to discard a land, though. Hmm. Uh, I think I have to discard a land. It's likely out of... What do you got? No, you got nothing good. Okay, so we'll see what they do this turn, but, you know, we could get two horrors next turn if they are not careful. Okay, they, they are careful. <laughs> All right, then we just pass. Just pass the turn. They don't have a land, so they have four spells. They have probably multiple pieces of interaction. So now they're gonna half the world tree me, I guess. End of turn. Huh. Interesting. What am I even supposed to do here? I could Aoife guess the path. World tree. <laughs> I could end of turn big score, theoretically. Hmm. This is interesting, 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 interesting. So if I interest in Big Score, De Vido, Mystical Dispute, they have one less answer for my creativity. Or I could just take the negate. And then Impulse end of turn again. Then they do this, draw two cards. I lose two life, I go seven, they get a two two. It's clocking me with that. Would love to know their hand to make a good decision here. Sorry for slow playing. I just don't know what to do. So what do I, what do I put them on? On like a mystical dispute? Hmm. I just hate all the. I just hate everything about this. Almost feel like I want to Ethergust. 
and then tap them out. I mean, they, they, they kind of have to either do this now. If they do so, they're going to, you know, yeah, they're not going to. Okay. So I buy myself a lot more time this way, you know. That's the nice part about this. Um, I'll just take a creativity. Oh, that's a nice one. Interesting. We'll make a free free. Free free is big enough to survive the path. Free free also sort of threatens a counter spell. All right. Like I still have like free mana up. They're playing this nicely, I must say. I feel like they they're not really giving me a window of opportunity. They're keeping up their mana. Stupid execution, I, I I don't know why it's still alive, like, can I also have to kill it? Okay, let me see. I guess I'll play Fable. Okay. Just pass. Do you want to play land? Two cards, three cards in hand. Just pass. Really? Alright. What are you gonna take? The Fable? Okay. You're not killing my goblin. Interesting. I'll take another hit. I guess you have to path for the goblin. Oh, they take the urine in hand. Okay. Interesting. Well, I kill this now. See what they do. They, they let it happen, so they definitely have like the Dovin's Veto in hand, right? 100% at this point. Oh, okay. That might actually be pretty good. I mean, now I regret not keeping that Steam Mans. That's okay. So I have 9 mana. They use two Leyland Bindings, so hopefully they don't have a bird. But I mean, they're playing an 80 card deck. Yorian, sure. I'll play the whole breaker, play Impulse, bounce the Yorian on the stack. And then, you know, they're kind of under, under the gun. And at that point, they can't keep up the Vito any longer. And then we can creativity for the second horror to finish the deal. Oh shit. Wow. Bird binding. Not bad. God damn it. Oh. Uh, well, now they can keep up Vito again. Shy. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is pretty crazy. Wow. So I guess I'll take the horror. <laughs> Making these creativities completely obsolete. Oh gosh. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they have Vito, right? They must have. The way they played this game. Yeah. You got it. Maybe it was meant to big score at some point in this game to like bait out the Vito. I don't know. Then I'm gonna draw a bunch of cards. 
I don't know if my horror is going to be good enough at this point. It might not. They have, like, full grip. I have three dead cards in hand. I guess I can maybe bounce, like, the binding, get another horror into play and do some shenanigans. We'll see. Knowing that they have a veto to counter my big score is not making me feel pretty good about this either. The, the, the third Leyline Binding was, was pretty hefty. Mm, they might just have the fourth, right? And then, you know, that's that. No? Well, let me attack, I guess. And it's seven. A bit of reunion to give haste. Okay. Now, nah, what are we up to? Seven cards in hand. I've played a planes this turn. Eight, nine mana, actually. I mean, they, they are probably thinking what I have in hand, etc. Like, ooh, what could they have? Da, 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 da. I mean, I would think this is a good matchup, but they kind of they humbled me a little bit here. I don't know. I feel like they had pretty good draws these games, too. Yeah. Uh, we'll not let that thing resolve, I can tell you that much. It will resolve, though. If I mean, they have to decide now if they want to counter the big score or not. I think if I were them, I would counter the big score. It's like, when a whole break of horror is on the battlefield, your opponent cannot draw more cards. It's pretty much a good rule of thumb. Oh, looks like they might let it happen, huh? I'll put full control on to make them think a little bit. No, no they're going to counter. They're thinking about it. They let it happen. Wow. Okay. Wow. This just got a little bit more interesting. Oh. That's not happening. Big question now, what do I bounce? Guess I bounce the Leyland by the horror under it. Let's play it again. Mm. I don't know. They have a mystical dispute for my disdain of a stroke. <gasps> we win! Okay, sweet. Nice. Okay, so knowing now that they have Dobin's Vito in multiples, I think I'll go down to two creativity. Huh, but my sideboard doesn't really offer me anything good. Interesting. Maybe another windfall. Just play with spite. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like creativity is not easy to resolve here if they keep up veto every turn. But I guess maybe you can bait them with. I don't know. Yeah. This could actually be a difficult matchup. 
I, I think the way you win is just counter their stuff and uh, play Fable and Shark Tefu and sort of, and then then you threatening the the Hulk. Sorry, the horror. Um, but like the horror is actually kind of weak to Leyline Binding, so you know, nothing solved. I guess I could play Spike Food Hazard actually. No reason not to. So they're keeping up Vito again. I wouldn't play a Fable into a Vito. And then they have Fires Resolve. That's not a good idea. Yeah. Pretty sure they have Vito. Just going with this fish game again. Uh, but actually, I I have I'm I'm the expert at the fish game. So, no, yeah, you don't want to play the fish game against the blue red deck with Murex and Sharks and all the instants. Usually not the best strategy, I would say. What is this? Cycle Trium. Okay. Yeah, opponent clearly like you know playing extra fancy here, tapping the free correct lands in the end step and stuff like that. I think I'm definitely making sure that they're not messing up. Very careful with the tapping. Huh. Uh, yeah. They might have missed it. The, the, okay, it looks like a mystic dispute, huh? Good to know about. I think I want a shock for two. F for one. Question is do I want a fable next turn? Like this is a turn to resolve fable, but if they have red plus counter spell, it would be annoying. But you can't play around everything. You just gotta you gotta do something sometimes. It looks like they have Leyland Burning too. Maybe they just have Leyland Binding. Maybe they don't even have Mystical Dispute. Yeah. Okay, so now they're down to three. Fable was a nice two for one here. They traded their Leyland Binding for the Fable, but we still got the Goblin. We have plenty of cards in hand. You know, it's a close game, but I, I don't hate my spot. They attack me. Let's see. Yeah, it's fine. Leyland Binding is the best card in that deck. Like it is in many decks, to be fair. <laughs> Kruger. Or well, Omnath. Leyland Binding is just a ridiculous magic card. Um, it is the best card in that deck, that's for sure. And my opponent just keeps having, you know, multiples in the top of their deck. Which is uh, impressive. Huh, I could try to resolve a big score, actually. I don't hate the idea of that. Hmm. All my cards are good, so again, would have to discard the Murex. Or I could just shock. Eh. I don't know. Alright, you know what? I'll just shock and then eat the guy or whatever. and then Probably won't eat it, I guess. I'll just trade. They have another Leyline Binding? What's going on? They have some sort of instant speed thing, at least. They just have another one, huh? No? Okay. What is it? Okay. Tap land? Hanged Execution? It's actually a little threatening here. Okay. Oh, they're bluffing the counter spell. Love it. Well, I'm gonna just upkeep big score then. Put this here to win it, that's for sure. Yeah, they didn't have it. Nice. That's an answer to the execution. Oh, that's good. Did 
Take two. I think I want to decline. I mean, I could put the big score back. It's pretty bad against the counter spell. But then if I just draw lands... Hmm. Okay. That didn't change much. Um. Yeah, I think again I'm going to do it in the upkeep. Not super confident though. I could wait until they they drew a Dovin's Veto this turn. Fuck. Because they didn't have it before, right? I could have waited until they didn't have it before. They just drew it literally that turn. Oh, that sucks. Um, I could have waited until they maybe tap out for Yorian, but I don't think they will. If they if they drew Dovin's Veto for real, then they wouldn't. I think. Ugh, that was painful. Is my poison army actually fast enough? Probably, huh? <laughs> Double Mirax for the kill. Man, this game got awfully close now. Yeah, that ain't happening. Both one card in hands. Whew. Oh, that was a good one. Um... I mean, I have negate. <sighs> Am I good on chilling? So this is... Yeah, I guess... Hmm. I think I just cast the inputs now, in case I find creativity. Uh... Fable? Make disappear? Make disappear? I mean, if they have like a... Seven drop? <laughs> counters it cleanly if they have a five drop and not a land it counters it i'm ahead in the race they die before i die so i could technically take the card that protects me from dying to some random seven drop you know or i could take something more proactive it's interesting i think i'm gonna go with the make the spear maybe it's a bit crazy maybe it's a bit crazy but i have i have to kill the Mirax is literally going to kill them. And this, this way I have two counter spells. Wow. Oh, giga brain play. I mean, if I wouldn't have taken to make it disappear, I would have just lost to that card. Pretty sure. I mean, I'm drawing like five or whatever. I took the card that prevented me from dying to, you know, one of their best outs. So, yeah, they can put me to two. Hey, I mean, if I die to some two damage now, what is it, Omen? <gasps> oh, wow, that would kill me <laughs> if I wouldn't have this negate. <gasps> Jesus. Close game. Wow, down to the wire. Wow, that was a sick one. What do you got? I can make even two tokens in step, so I have five attackers. <gasps> GG. Wow. Okay, it's done. We had another path. Interesting. Oh, what a close game. That deals me five. That deals me the lethal damage, but the Murex finishes him off. Oh, I love it. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Murex. Murex for the W. Sick. Sick. Poison death. Okay. Well, in the end, I think this is a good matchup, so... But yeah, I mean, I made it close. Like, doing Svito Leyland Binding. It's just, in the end, what matters in these games is, like, the instant speed factor. And I am just a way better instant speed deck. I can keep up all my counters while keeping up into action. They're, like, you know, a bit of a sorcery clunk pile. And then they can't really... I, I can read into their hand very well, because if they pass the turn, I know, okay, they probably have a counter spell here. But they can't read well into my hand and so on, and so I can play around stuff easier. 
And uh, yeah, because all my deck is instant. I always pass the turn. Ah, all right, that was a good game of magic. Well, that was it for this video. Um, I will, I, I think I will be back with at least one more video before Barcelona. If not, uh, it's going to be goodbye for me for two weeks, I suppose. Um, wish me luck in modern. <laughs> but I, I hope I'll be back. It's just so freaking hot. I'm sweating and stuff in this room. So it's not super pleasant to record videos at this time. Um, again, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll just take a break for the time being. And then be back, you know, fast and furious <laughs> in August. All right, guys. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace out.